technical limits. Was this a grand conspiracy or simply the hard limits of physics? Let me explain what was happening on the ExoMars orbiter. The Cassis camera was never intended to be an interstellar comet tracker. Its primary mission is to create detailed color maps of the Martian surface, identifying geological features like landslides and seasonal frost changes. Aiming it at a dim object 30 million kilometers away stretched its capabilities to the absolute maximum. Nicholas Thomas, the camera's principal investigator from the University of Bern, described the effort as a very challenging observation, emphasizing that the comet was at least 10,000 times fainter than the Martian landscapes Cassis was built to photograph. At that vast distance, a single pixel from the Cassis sensor covers a massive 340 square kilometers. The comet's nucleus, thought to be only a few dozen kilometers across, was far too small to be resolved. It was, in technical terms, a sub-pixel target. No amount of perfect focus or long exposure could turn it into anything more than a smear of light on the sensor. The resulting fuzzy dot wasn't a cover-up, it was the unyielding reality of the hardware's design. 